Last week, one patient came to me with severe pain in the lower back and said, Dr. McKinney are hurting. But when we examined him, the real reason for his pain had nothing to do with the kidneys. Surprise? Yes, you might be making the same mistake. Hello everyone, I am Dr. Purudaman and today we are going to talk about an important topic, kidney pain versus back pain. Many patients visit us with the kidney pain, but can our kidney really feel pain? Let's find out. So, in the human body, each organ plays its own unique role, but not every organ has the ability to feel pain. The kidneys, surprisingly, are one of them. Yes, you heard it right. Our kidney do not have any sensory nerves. If they had any sensory nerve, we would constantly feel every process inside them, such as urine formation, waste filtration, and blood purification. But do we feel all this? No. So what does this mean? This means if you are feeling pain in your lower back, then you should not directly assume that it's kidney pain. Rather, you should try to find out the main reason for your problem. To understand this more deeply, you need to have a closer look at the lower back anatomy. Our lower back consists of three major components, the muscles, the backbone and the kidney. Now to find the origin of the pain, ask yourself an important question. Is the pain continuous? or does it come and go? If the pain reduces when you lie down or take rest, it is linked to your muscles. Whereas, if the pain is constant and does not go even at rest, then it could be related to your bones. Now, moving further, when the patient visits us worried for their kidney pain, I do a simple physical examination. Carefully look at me. You can try this at home also. Gently apply pressure around the waist and do a light massage close to the kidney. Area. If doing this provides relief to the patient, then you can say that the pain is muscle related. If the pain increases and becomes intolerable on doing massage, then the issue lies in the bone, most probably in the backbone. However, if the pain remains the same, neither increases nor decreases, then the reason might be something serious, including kidney issues. So, in this case, Tests like ultrasound and CT scan might help to find out the exact reason. The results will help to know if there is any kidney issue or something else. I hope in now you have understood clearly all the possible causes of the back pain. Moving further, now let's discuss the different treatment approaches for the different reason of the back pain. In case of muscle pain, simple remedy is like massage, physical therapy and certain medicated oil can be used to relax the area. Next, if the pain is due to bones, then vitamin D and calcium supplements can help. But last not least, if the pain is suspected to be from the kidneys, further tests are required to determine the exact issue and the situation can be managed accordingly by proper treatment. So, I hope today's video is clear to you. I have tried my best to simplify the difference between the normal back pain and the kidney pain. So, next time you or your close one experience lower back pain, don't directly jump to any conclusion. Focus on understanding the actual cause. This will help you to find the right treatment and avoid unnecessary pain. See you all in another video with more such helpful and informative content. Till then, take care. Bye-bye and Namaste.